This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account, so we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I, too, was a black man who didn't know enough about our own history, so I began to dig deeper and do my own research. I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please share and support Teaching Black History. The Story of Horace King Horace King was born into slavery in 1807 in South Carolina. King's ancestry was a mix of African, European, and Cantaba. Taught to read and write at an early age, he had become proficient carpenter and mechanic by his teenage years. Records indicate King spent his first 23 years near his birthplace with his first introduction to bridge construction in 1824. In 1832, King's owner received a contract to construct a 560-foot bridge across the Chattahoochee River from Columbus, Georgia to Alabama. Initially living in Columbus, he moved to Girard in 1833, taking King with him. The pair began many other construction projects, including his house building. They built his house first, then King's. This was followed by many speculative houses, and the two men completed nearly every early house in Girard. The Columbus City Bridge was the first known to be built by King, who likely planned the construction of the bridge and managed the slave laborers who built the span. Between the completion of the Columbus City Bridge in 1833 and the early 1840s, King and his owner Goodwin partnered on no fewer than eight major construction projects throughout the South. The partners constructed some 40 cotton warehouses in Apalachicola, Florida in 1834. Goodwin sent King in the mid 1830s to study at Oberlin College in Ohio, the first college in the United States to admit African-American students. The two men designed and built the courthouses of Muscogee County, Georgia, and Russell County, Alabama from 1839 to 1841, and bridges in Georgia and Alabama. They built a replacement for their Columbus City Bridge between Columbus and Girard in 1841, as the original had been destroyed during an 1838 flood. King was allowed to marry Frances Thomas, a free woman of color, in April 1839. By 1840, King was being publicly acknowledged as being a co-builder along with Goodwin, an uncommon honor for a slave. King's prominence had eclipsed that of his master by the early 1840s. He worked independently as architect and superintendent of major bridge projects in Mississippi and Alabama. Despite his enslavement, King was allowed to keep a significant income from his work. In 1846, he used some of his earnings to purchase his freedom from the Goodwin family. In 1852, King used his freedom to purchase land near his former master. In 1849, King was hired to construct the framework of the new Capitol building, as well as design and build the twin spiral entry staircases. King used his knowledge of bridge building to cantilever the stair support beams so that the staircases appeared to float without any central support. Around 1855, King formed a partnership with two other men to construct the Moores Bridge in Georgia. Instead of collecting a fee for his work, King took stock instead. Gaining a one-third interest in the bridge, King moved his wife and children to the area near the bridge about 1858. 
Francis King and their children collected the bridge tolls and farmed at Moore's Bridge. The earnings from Moore's Bridge generated a steady income for King and his family. The American Civil War approached in 1860. King attempted to continue his businesses as an architect and builder. As the war approached its end in 1864, many of King's bridges were destroyed by Union troops. This included Moore's Bridge, which King owned. Francis King died on October 1, 1864 at Girard, leaving King a widower with five surviving children to care for. King remarried in June 1865 to Sarah Jane Jones. King was elected to the Alabama House of Representatives in 1868. King left the Alabama legislature in 1872 and moved his family back to Georgia. While in Georgia, King continued building bridges, but also expanded to include other construction projects, specifically businesses and schools. By the mid-1870s, King had begun to pass on his bridge construction activities to his five children, who formed the King Brothers Bridge Company. King's health began failing in the 1880s, and he died on May 28, 1885.